Alright guys, so today I want to talk about something that I get asked pretty much every shoot I've ever done and that is, what should I wear? I get asked this pretty much every shoot and I always kind of say to go with what the aesthetic is of the shoe, like what the style is. So I'm going to share with you a bunch of tips and tricks that I've kind of picked up along the way that help kind of figure out what to wear and it's definitely something that you would have in your closet. So the first tip is to wear something that you can interact with. So instead of just wearing jeans and a t-shirt, wear something that you could play with. So if it's jeans and a t-shirt and say like a denim jacket, so now you can play with the collar, you can play with the buttons, you can sling it over your shoulder. It adds, it adds something else to do, especially if you're nervous like posing in front of the camera, it gives something to kind of play with. Even something like long sleeves. Instead of just wearing a t-shirt, wear a sweater. So you can play with the sleeves or you could wrap your hands in it. Um, and for girls, we always have our hair. Wear your hair somewhere cute. You can play with your ponytail, you can flick it around. Jewelry is a really great place. You can play with your necklaces or earrings. Just wear something that you can interact with. Next tip is to wear something according to who you're shooting with. So obviously like the thing you would wear to a family photo shoot would be a very different outfit to like a portrait shoot. So if you're doing families, I say coordinate with the people around you. This is good for couples who are doing engagement photos or just couple photos, kind of coordinate the style. Instead of wearing like matching sweaters, you know, the his and her sweaters, if you want pink to be in your color, kind of switch it up so he can wear a pink sweater and you'll wear like a pink dress or you'll wear like a white dress with pink shoes. The same works in family photos, this is done pretty often. They're all like not not patterns but colors. That's a really good tip is to don't not all wear stripes or polka dots but stick to colors instead. Tip when working with colors is to pick like to think of the season. So especially with families and engagement photos like think of like what time of year, like what season you're shooting in. So if you're shooting in like the winter and it's more like, cold outside, wear like some deep reds or some nice greens or some really cute like wintry colors. Whereas if you're shooting in like the summer or the springtime, think of like bright pinks and pretty blues and like more of those like yellowy colors. Uh the next tip I have is for portraits and that is to level up your outfit by one. So going back to our jeans and t-shirt outfit is really cute, but you don't want to just wear something that you would wear in kind of your daily life. You're looking to kind of amp up your profile. You want some really cute portraits, leather jacket, if it's some brighter earrings, if it's wearing a dress instead of jeans and a t-shirt, wear something that's just a level up. I look on Pinterest, which brings me to my next point, which is to look on Pinterest. There are hundreds of ideas of cute outfits. I create little Pinterest boards per shoes. Um, and then another one you can do is just ask your photographer. We often have like tips and tricks from shoots that we've done on our own that can be really helpful. Send some pictures back and forth. And then another tip that I have is to dress in accordance to where you're shooting. So the outfit that you would wear during like an urban shoot, you're in the downtown, like there's brick walls everywhere. Wear like cute jeans and that really nice brim hat or like a big black duster. Whereas if you're shooting like out in the forest and you're out kind of in a provincial park and you're taking more like nature, wear like hiker boots and a flannel or wear like a cute little like denim rip jacket with the beanies are also really cute when you're shooting outdoors. Those are all the tips that I have for now. I hope you guys like it. I, I hope that like it kind of helps show you guys like a ways to make it easier to dress for the shoot like so that you're not feeling so stressed out. Um, and yeah.